It's Friday here at Bob's Magic Emporium. Time for another all-new The School of Magic. Classes in session every Friday here at The School of Magic. All right, great trick today. I call this one Face Up. So hopefully I can do the trick justice. So I have here a normal deck of playing cards, but to prove that they're really a normal deck of cards, I'm going to go ahead and just give them a quick little shuffle here. All right, I think that should be good. We'll just do one shuffle here. So uh, I want you to choose a card anywhere you'd like. Just pull one out. We'll say right there. All right, now normally I wouldn't know what the card is since there's no spectator here. We're going to take a look at it. The Queen of Clubs. Good card. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some cards like this, and I want you to tell me stop whenever you want. Stop. All right, right there. That's going to be your card. We're going to take the card, and we are going to place it right here. Again, we're going to place it face down. And I'll place the rest of the deck right on top. So I told you the name of the trick is face up because I'm going to try to turn your card face up. I've done it. Let's see if I did it. I'm not going to skip any cards. And one card should be face up. And that's going to be your card, the... Wait a second. There's two cards face up. The two black aces. That is not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to take the two cards and have them... I think I did something wrong. All right, you know what? Let's try something else. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle up these cards. Sorry about that, folks. I think I forgot a step there or something. So I'm going to place the first ace right on top. Second ace goes right on bottom. If I do this good, if I do this right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to find your card in a magic way. One, two, three. In between the aces, we now have the queen of clubs. That is your card. And that is face up. All right, this is a really great trick. Let me go into the quick explanation of this trick. So you need a regular deck of cards, and you need two aces. You can use the two red ones or the two black ones, but get uh, the same color aces. Don't do like one red, one black. Both of these aces go face up on the bottom of the deck. So they, so they go face up on the bottom of the deck. So you have two cards on bottom that are face up. The rest are face down. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to have the spectator, you're going to force them to choose a card, basically, but they're going to have kind of a free choice. What I mean by that is you're going to spread these cards slow and wide. So it kind of looks something like that. So that's a slow and a wide spread, something like this, because you don't want to spread too far down and show those two black aces. So you're just going to spread slow and wide like that. And basically you're telling them, pick something from the spread there uh, without actually saying to them, pick something from the spread, their brains are going to say, oh, he wants me to choose right up here. You know, 99.9% of the time, spectators are not going to say, when you spread slow and wide like that, let me take one of these cards. If they do, all you can say is, well, let's take it from somewhere in the middle. We don't want to take it too far close to the bottom or the top, because I may know the card. You can justify the reasons why you want to have them take it from there. So they take a card, and again, normally you wouldn't know what the card is, so this time it's the Jack of Hearts. So, pretty simple trick. All you're going to do is when they choose their card, you're going to do a false shuffle by keeping these two cards on bottom. Here's how to do that. All you're going to do is you're going to take your thumb, put it around this side of the deck, all the other fingers go around this side, and your other hand, same deal, thumb goes here, fingers go around the other side. And all you're going to do is you're just going to peel cards off the top. So notice I'm just taking the top few cards and leaving those bottom cards as they are. So you just want to go like that, and you're just going to thumb off the cards. And you want to place, actually, your, your thumb of your other hand should go on top of the cards and just push these cards off. Now make sure that you're not pushing too many, too big of clump, too many uh, clump of cards because you don't want to run out of cards before they tell you stop. So you're just going to go like this, and the faster you go, the better it actually looks. It looks like you're actually uh, taking and shuffling the cards. So they'll tell you stop whenever they want, but you know that those aces are still on bottom. No matter what you do, it's never going to disrupt the ace because you're taking the top cards. So we'll say they say stop right here, and where they say stop, their card goes in face down right here on top. Make sure they remember their card. The rest of the packet, the two aces, go on top of their card as well as everything else. Now, you are now set up to do the first part of the trick. The first part of the trick, you're going to say, I'm going to make your card turn face up. So you can wave a wand, you can snap, wave your hand, whatever you want to do. And you're going to either do a ribbon spread of the cards. If you don't, know how to, if you don't know how to ribbon spread, all you do is you just... Uh, put pressure on the cards, hold it with your first finger on the top, 
thumb on the back, and the rest of the fingers curl around the front. Put pressure on the cards and release pressure as you go like that. You can do that and show that the two aces are face up. Or you can do like I did in the performance, which is just spread through the cards like this with your fingers till you come to the two face up aces. Now, you want to talk about how you're going to turn, turn their card face up. Because when the two aces turn face up, that's going to be a little bit of a surprise. So you want to make sure you say, I'm going to turn your card face up. Oh, wait a minute. These are the aces. Really play up the moment. Play up your acting skills. So you're going to say, oh, wait, those are, those are two aces. Um, I was supposed to go for your card. One of these wasn't your card, was it? Okay, it wasn't? Oh. All right, well, let's place the two aces down. Now, their card, which was the Jack of Hearts in this demonstration, is going to be right underneath the aces. So all you're going to do is you're going to take both aces, set them down on the table, or you can hand them to the spectator, whatever you want to do. And their card, which is now on this half of the deck, all you're going to do is take the original top half and just put it on the bottom of the deck. So now you brought their card up to the top. Okay, so now you need to do one other thing. You're going to say, let's, put the, let's have the aces help me find your card. But first, let me shuffle up the cards. And you're going to do a very specific shuffle here. It's a, it's a false shuffle. And all you're going to do is with, you're going to place uh, fingers around the deck like this. Your thumb is just going to peel off cards into the other hand. So the first thing you want to do is peel one card off into your other hand, which is going to be their card. And what that's going to do is take their card and place it on the bottom of the deck now. You'll see what I mean by that in a moment. So it's one card goes down. And then now you can either do clumps of cards or you can do one card at a time. So you can do one card, or you can do clumps. It doesn't really matter. You're just, that's the floor show. Uh, you're just trying to uh, mix up the cards. And notice what I did was put their card now on bottom. Okay, so now their card is on the bottom of the deck, and you're now going to say, let's have the aces help us find the card. One ace goes on top of the deck. The second ace will go on the bottom of the deck, but you're going to place it on the bottom of the deck in a special way. When you place it on the bottom of the deck, do not square the card up. Leave it outjogged just a little bit. Notice that it is outjogged just a little bit. That may be not enough. Right about there. What you want to do is you want to be able to take these fingers, thumb on top, the rest of the fingers curl around the bottom. You want to make sure you can get your fingers touching the ace as well as their card. So it's going to look something like this. You're going to place the ace on bottom, outjog it a little bit, and you're going to curl the fingers around like this. Now, in a couple school of magics ago, we learned the tossing move, where the tossing move is where you toss the cards like this. We're now going to do the same move, except instead of tossing two cards, we're going to toss three cards. It works the exact same way. All you're going to do is you're going to take the cards like this, thumb on the top, fingers curl around, make sure you grab the jack as well as the ace, and the harder you grip, the more cards are going to, well, the easier it's going to be to get both of these cards to slide. Because what you're going to do is basically you're sliding off this top card as well as the bottom card and the second, and the card right above that one. All you do is you do a couple of tosses. One, two. On the third toss, you're going to release the cards. And because you're holding pressure, it's going to grab all three of those cards like that. You're going to get all three. If you weren't holding pressure on the cards, you wouldn't grab all three, and cards may go flying. You may, pl you may play 52-card pickup. All right. Another thing you can actually do, uh, let's say the aces are back on the table and they haven't put them on the deck yet. After you've done that false shuffle where you have done this, so you've done that and placed the card back on bottom, you can secretly, if you want, turn that jack over. I'll show you what that does in just a moment. So you're going to place one ace on top and go through the rest of the trick, another ace on bottom. Now what this is going to do is you're going to go one, two, three, and that is going to take their card, yeah, and it's going to be the only reversed card. So you can say, I told you your card was going to be the only face-up card, turn it over and that's the only face-up card. You can add that little bit of a bonus if you want. But at the end of the trick, you've got to have really good audience management. When the card's on the bottom, you've got to make sure they don't catch you turning that card over. So you've got to make sure you have really good audience management to do that. But that's another way you can have this trick. Um, you can have it a little more of an extra flourish or pizzazz at the end of the trick by having their card the only reversed card.
which would be another cool thing you can do. All right, so that is a trick that I call Face Up. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next Friday for an all-new The School of Magic. More. Do you know how to mix up cards? You say, you are not cards. You are not cards. You get the, the two tubes, and you get a certain amount of bottles. Let me grab one of the uh, real and usable. You're probably talking like a $100 trick, so that's why. And, and it's a real... Their selected card, we'll say, is the King of Diamonds goes right on the table. And all you